good afternoon and welcome back to Robert's Kitchen. I'm Robert and today we're going to do uh, salad dressing three ways. I like to call this Beyond the Hidden Valley, uh, something a little bit different from what you're getting out of the bottle and hopefully something that uh, that you like and and want to uh, want to do on your own at home. Well, I'm going to start out with a classic vinaigrette and then we're going to do what's called a lemon vinaigrette. It's not really a vinaigrette because there's no vinegar, it's just lemon juice. And then we're also gonna do a poppy seed. So conventional wisdom for vinaigrette is two parts oil to one part vinegar. At Diolivas, our vinegars are just acidic enough where a 50-50, I think, is completely appropriate. And so what we're gonna start out with are just some super basics I'm going to take um, I'm going to take a an unflavored olive oil. You can use all kinds of flavor combinations, but today we're just starting out with super basic stuff. So we're going to go, and I'm going to add um, one part oil, and then I'm going to add one part balsamic vinegar. Now you can use any kind of vinegar you want. But if you're not using one of our balsamic vinegars, chances are you're getting something a little more, what you might call bitey. Um, this here is uh, a little more mild, it's coming in at about a five per four and a half to five percent acidity. And we're just going to go with a 50-50 mix. And you can stop there and you can whisk that up and it's fine. But if you also take a little bit of mustard, and we have a mustard here that we like. It is a sweet onion mustard by AJ's out of uh, the great state of Washington. And I'm just gonna put in a little, what I call a bloop. A bloop, it's a little more than a scant and it's less than a dollop. And all I'm gonna do is just put that in uh, to that. Now you can put this in a bowl. You can grab a whisk and whisk it up. I also have this. This is so cool. It's an Aero Latte. It's, uh, it's something that's actually designed to froth up milk for, uh, uh, for lattes, but it also works really well for mixing up a, uh, a vinaigrette. And all I'm going to do is turn that on. And the mustard, the mustard here creates, it creates an emulsion so now these two, they don't, they don't readily and easily separate. It all stays together very nicely. Now I've also brought myself a little glass of water so I can clean that off and have that handy. So this is, this is just something super basic, works out very nicely. There's tons of flavor combinations that you can use. You could use a, a garlic oil and a traditional balsamic. You could use a, a Tuscan herb flavored olive oil and a peach or a lemon balsamic, and they're all great. This is just something to, that kind of gives you the idea of the basics. Last month, we also did a, uh, we did a couple of different pestos. And one of the pestos that we did was this uh, tomato-based pesto. This is something I, I had, I made up a little bit extra today uh, just for this. You can take a spoonful of this, add that to your uh, vinaigrette, and then go back and whisk that up. And this just adds a whole new dimension. This just adds a whole new dimension to your salad dressing, and it works out very nicely. It adds a ton of flavor, and it's something really easy to do. And lastly, for something like this, if you wanted to add uh, a little bit something uh, different and extra to it, if you wanted to make a creamy version of, uh, of a salad dressing, I like this whole milk uh, yogurt. You can use low fat. I just like the whole milk yogurt. And then all I have to do is put a little bit of that into, um, into the dish. And then again with the uh, with the Aero Latte, and then you end up with what uh, amounts to a creamy balsamic. Now you can stop at any point. Um, you can stop at any point with this, and 
you could do just the oil and vinegar. You could do the oil and vinegar with the um, with the tomatoes. You could do the uh, with the yogurt, and everything works out very nicely. And then you just go ahead and pour a little bit of that onto your salad. Mix that up, and you're all set. Super easy. Then, this is kind of a, uh, if, you, if you've ever watched Ina Garten, uh, Gartner, she does a, uh, a, lemon, uh, a lemon vinaigrette. It's, hers is very simple. It's just one part lemon juice. And I've measured, I've squeezed out about a quarter cup of lemon juice. And then two parts of olive oil. And right about, I'm going to say that's about two to one. And then it's, uh, from there, it's just as simple as she just whisks it up. She throws in a, uh, a pinch of salt. And you could also add a little bit of pepper. One of the things that I really enjoy adding to this is a, is a couple of tablespoons of agave. You can just as easily use honey, uh, but I like agave. And you can just squeeze a little bit of that in there. Maybe like one or two tablespoons to taste. And that will also help emulsify everything in here. And then we can pour that over this salad. I really like this dish. I picked these dishes up in Sicily when I was stationed there. And this one actually has a couple of lemons in the bowl. And I just thought that was really cool. And last but not least, we're going to do a poppy seed dressing. This one's a little bit, uh, there's a little bit more to it. We're going to start out with half of a red onion chopped up. And I've got the other half right here. We're just going to put in the half the onion. And then we're going to add uh, vinegar. Now, the vinegar that we're going to use uh, today is what we call our uh, cranberry agretti. There's a couple of other vinegars that we have at Diolivas and at Diolivas.com that also work very well with this. Uh, we just decided to do the cranberry agretti. And what the agretti is, it's actually a white balsamic. It's a white balsamic, and then this is flavored with all-natural fruit puree, which gives, uh, which gives it just an amazing light, crisp, but super fresh taste. So we're going to put that in, and then we're going to pulse this until, until it's broken up a bit. And next, we're going to put in... Uh, we're going to put in about a teaspoon or so of mustard. Or about a tablespoon, my mistake. And then uh, a little bit of pinch of salt. We're going to add a pinch of salt. And then we're going to start... We're going to start uh, getting that knocked down a little bit more and well blended. So I've tried this uh, recipe a number of times and I started out by trying to make it with extra virgin olive oil. And even when I use the most mild olive oil that I have, I just really don't enjoy the taste as much as I want to. So what I found out is that if I use a more neutral oil, uh, the flavor of this dressing is greatly improved. So for that reason, what we're gonna do is we're going to use uh, some avocado oil. And so, we're going to add about three quarters of a cup of avocado oil to this, but the key, the key to this is that we add it very slowly so that it emulsifies. If you're using a food processor, almost always there's there's this piece here uh, that comes out from the uh, from the fill, and it kind of there's um, there will be something you can drop bigger chunks down, and then there's this cup. And almost always at the bottom of this cup, right here, there's a very tiny hole that allows things like oil to slowly drip into a dish. So all we're going to do is we're going to we're going to turn this on, and then we're going to 
pour the oil into that cup and then it's going to slowly let itself into the food processor and it's coming down just a little bit at a time okay and now all of the oil has gone through uh, the, uh, the cup with the with the little hole so it uh, only goes in very slowly we're going to turn this off and now we're going to open up the uh, the food processor and now all we have to do is pour this into a bowl this came out with a consistency that I'm really pleased with. Sometimes uh, if I use too much onion, if the onion is larger uh, than I had planned on and I still cut the onion in half, uh, it ends up being a little bit thicker than I like, in which case you would just take a little bit uh, more of the balsamic vinegar and put that in there to thin it out. This recipe also calls for added sugar. Our the vinegar that we're using is pretty sweet on its own, and uh, you really don't need a whole lot of uh, sugar added to it. You can add sugar, you just don't need to. Uh, then I'm going to take about a tablespoon of poppy seed, and I'm just going to pour this into my hand. I'm going to put that into the bowl, give it a little stir with the whisk. And here we just have, we end up with a beautiful uh, pink poppy seed uh, dressing. And we can just pour that over our salad. And here you go. That's how easy it is. Everything is just, it's just super easy. We, we use a couple of base quality ingredients that always work. And you just take your time. And it comes out uh with, you come out with something special. Thank you for uh, thank you for joining us. We hope you try a couple of these things at home. We'd love to hear about your success, and we'll see you next month.